In today's video, we're gonna be building a paver patio and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Let's get started. Okay, so we've excavated the area that our patio is gonna go into, and that process was a little bit more complicated than I would have liked it to be. I started by renting a sod cutter, and I tried that, and that did not work at all. So luckily, my father-in-law has a bobcat, and we were able to use that. Although it's probably a little bit bigger of a tool than required to excavate this area, it did work well, and we were able to get out all that soil and get it down to about, I think we needed about eight inches, a minimum of eight inches, to allow for the base material, the pavers, and that top coat that is in between the two. So we've laid our first layer of gravel, which is a 9A limestone. This is about a three quarter inch clean gravel, which means it doesn't have the fines in it. It is going to allow all of the moisture to drain through. And we've layered on that at about an inch or two thick. That's gonna fill up any of the low spots and we're gonna compact that down into the ground. With that compacted, then we're gonna move on to laying out some commercial grade landscaping fabric. And this is gonna be that high density, very, plasticky stuff that's going to allow the moisture to drain through it and it's just going to help lock everything into place and prevent any settling in certain areas. Okay, so we've got our base coat in place and it's compacted. This is gonna give us a solid foundation. It's also gonna drain well because we're using that three quarter inch clear gravel. And now we're going to be adding our top coat. Now the top coat is gonna be three eighths inch chipstone or limestone in our case, which is also gonna be clear and allow for that drainage that we really need. Now, in order to get that perfectly level, we've got two steel pipes and we're gonna use a level to guide us off of here reducing our height by the thickness of the paver and we're going to make sure that it pitches away from the barn and then down this way towards the driveway so once we get those pipes exactly where we want them we're going to sprinkle some stone over the top of it and then use a screet board or just a long straight flat board to screet that all in place and once we get it in place we're going to make sure that we don't touch it again before we start adding our pavers Now, when it came to setting the pavers themselves, we went with the Unilock Brussels block paver. And the main area is in the color limestone. And then we did a soldier course in the color dark charcoal. Now a soldier course is simply a half stone that is laid kind of perpendicular to the pattern itself and stacked all the way around. Those two different colors give it a little bit of a contrast and a nice border to the overall patio. Now, we do have one radius on the end here that we need to cut in place. We've laid all the stones just past the edge of that radius. We're gonna come back and mark that radius with a, a straight edge and a pencil, and then we will cut that in place, or at least score it in place, and finish cutting all those blocks to exactly the dimensions that we need, and that way we can finish the soldier course all the way around that radius. Okay, so we got all of our pavers down, we got our border cut, we got our soldier course in, and then we went ahead and we installed the paver edging with some 10 inch spikes into the ground. This is a flexible paver edging, and that's gonna help retain all of those edge pavers in place as well as the base material. Now, 
Now that we've got that done, then we can move on to backfilling around the edge of the patio itself. Once we get that backfill, then we'll move on to installing the poly sand that is going to fill all of the joints in the paver patio. Okay, so our edging is in place and we backfilled up to the patio. Now we have to add the polymeric sand. Now what we're using is called Polybind G2 and that is going to be swept all over the patio down into the cracks and then we're gonna leave a little bit of excess on the top and we're gonna vibrate that into place with a compactor. Once we get that vibrated into place, then we can come back and sweep all the excess off. Now, when you're vibrating this with the compactor into those joints, you're supposed to be using a rubber pad. However, when we rented our compactor, we checked around, couldn't find those rubber pads anywhere, and ordering them online was actually pretty expensive. So we're gonna be going with a piece of scrap carpet and we're gonna clamp that to it and see how it works out. Okay, so we've got this beautiful paver patio done and we've got this unsightly AC unit back here. So we're gonna now build a privacy fence in order to hide this stuff and kind of my little storage area back here. Luckily, rather than digging holes, we've got some easy spikes from Simpson Strong Tie. We're simply gonna hammer those into the ground with a sledgehammer, and then we can set our four x four posts in there. We don't wanna disturb this area near the patio now that we've got it all done, so hammering these spikes in the ground is the perfect option. Then we're gonna follow up with some composite boards to really bring this whole privacy fence together and seal this area up from those unsightly views. Now the reason for the paver patio was not only for some additional storage for bikes and all those things, but also we wanted to be able to have a place to grill out while we're hanging out down here in the barn, playing basketball and whatnot. Now if you're in the market for a grill, I highly recommend you check out Pit Boss. This is their 1600 wood pellet smoker and it's got a 32 pound hopper and it connects to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so you can monitor your meat temps as well as your cooking temperature from wherever you want to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We absolutely love how the paver patio turned out. I learned a ton throughout the research and the actual doing of this project, and I hope you did through this video. If you want more videos like this, make sure you hit that button right there and you won't miss out on any of those future videos. And until next time, be safe and happy building.